All right, guys, we're back with more Dragon Age Origins. I'll just go along and head to Ozmar. Um, since the Temple of or the Urn is on the way, yes, not have also. We'll bring Liana with us. To the Frostback Mountains, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Got some baddies to fight first. Just kidding. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a mage, not... <laughs> Come on, win. Get him, win. Ah, oh, shit. Jedi no powers. Way. I'm gonna do this. And then. Who's the closest? How much is this guy? He's still taking no damage. Ready. Uh, ball this ready. So attacking this dude. Oh, that's not good. It's coming right for me. No. Yep. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> Smack the shit out of her. <laughs> he smacked the shit out of her. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> now is better than later. Oh, he won't bring Liliana just yet. <laughs> the shit. That was fucking funny. <laughs> yes. Yes. Holy fuck. Uh, where was he going? <laughs> he said, bitch, shut up. Bop. Now what? Don't meet this right now. I don't get why he doesn't attack. Oh, he killed everyone. He killed his own team already. You fuck. Come here, bitch. Oops. Mom. Uh, fire. Wait, no. Put her fire. Then have her come here. 
Did she even hit from that side? His fireball fucking destroyed his own team. Uh, I guess we could just do that. Let's just have him do all the work for me. But he still almost killed us. Oh, there's still more people over there. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy hell. Excuse me? What the fuck? Hello? These people are... Another I guess we're just gonna... Right. I might hit this. There you go. <laughs> this game is so long. <laughs> uh, we got fucked again. <laughs> Oh, that's Morrigan. <laughs> Look at him. He's getting tossed around everywhere. Easy. Oh. Hmm. That was interesting and draining. What was that? Did you summon the spirit? I called forth the spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. So it could kill yourself doing this. Well, um, that's certainly conceivable. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. I don't want you exerting yourself. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. It's hilarious. <laughs> Get me out of this bitch. Let's save. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just uh <laughs> everyone back to uh full. And then now we can bring. Yes. Diana. Her. Dexterity. And let's come. Her. Let's go to her tactics. I don't even know what these are again. Where's the other song? Oh, 
Do I want a courage? We don't really have crit chance. I mean, I guess she would count as well. But, uh... This one seems pretty good. On my way. Song of Valor? This song? We got critical shots. Something on your mind? Wait, why is Alistair here? Oh, blast it. Yes. Now let's go. Get the dwarves. The hell is this? <laughs> oh, they were just chilling. Okay. <laughs> All right, bitch. Yeah, keep doing that, maybe. I just got fucked again. Oh, my Jesus. Right, which one's the stupid ass mage? Fireball. It's flame blast. Nope. Lightning. Ready. Didn't I change this? Oh my god! Come on. I, I just got fucked again. Interesting. Nice. Very nice. Thanks. Yes. We should do this one. Let's try that. All right, round three, bitch. Get off my back. Fuck that mage, dude. I'll get on it. 
<laughs> you run so hard all of a sudden. Oh, and no one seemed to notice. Surface dwarves. Gossip. Greetings, my lord. Thanks for helping me out, bro. When is this yours? Oh, my bag of components. Thank you, dear. I was wondering where it got to. You left it by the fire at camp. Oh, yes, I remember now. How age creeps up on you and brings with it forgetfulness. You're a great mage, Wen, and you're sharper and wiser than many people I know. Some young ones, too. Oh, but you should have seen me 15, 20 years ago. The fires have dimmed somewhat since then. But thank you, Liliana, for picking up after this old lady. I guess since everyone's range, I'll go, uh, threaten. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lowly merchant. You live on the surface? Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. That's not right. Someone should do something. Sir Helm Maybe Brown. change by the time my children are grown. How often do you restock in Orzammar? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Best of luck to you. Wanna trade with me, you douche? No, no, Sylvia. Oh, this guy. Step right up, friend, and have a look at the finest selection of almost new armor and weaponry east of Orlay. Are you foreign by any chance? You know what, let's take a look first. Of course. And remember, everything's covered by Farin's 24-hour lifetime guarantee. Okay. Yeah, about... Nope. That's it. So hold on to this. Twenty-seven gold. Jesus, fine. Or oh, that's butt. Maybe I should just have her, you know, kind of be, uh... Let her dual wield. Well... Anything that I want to give up? Okay. Welcome back. Care to see the finest selection of previously owned armor and weaponry in Thedas? Are you faring by any chance? Oh, you've heard of me. What, um, what have you heard? And just so you know, some of my competitors have been trying to besmirch my sterling reputation. Did you happen to find a canary sword? Canary? I'm afraid I don't know the word. Bronze skin giants. Oh, them. Well, I have a few shields here. I had one sword, but I sold it already. You know the guy you took it from is still alive, don't I'd you? If I'd known he was still breathing, I would have used a knife. I mean, 
I'd have been more careful. Who did you sell it to? A dwarf. He lives in Redcliffe. His name's Dwin, I think. I don't want any trouble. If you see that giant, tell him I don't have it, would you? I don't, I swear. I might be willing to keep quiet for three sovereigns. Three? I call it highway robbery, but I'd be smearing the good name of highwaymen everywhere. Fine. Here's your blood money. Take it and go. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to steal some more, too. Anyone? Yep. Uh, how do I switch weapons? There we go. Ah. There was still one more before we attempt to head in. Maybe I should just give her two, two daggers. King Loghain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Ivan. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Uh, 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 I have important business in Orzammar. None more important than mine. Your business will wait. Orzammar must limit outside influence until the throne is settled. No one gets in. I have urgent need to talk to your king. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. I am a Grey Warden. This treaty obliges Ozamar to aid me. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. Thanks, You're boss. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. Unto your false king, the doors will not hear him today. You, you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. My bitch. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Hey, we inside. Let's go. Follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. How magnificent! These must be the statues of the Dwarven Paragons. Yep, and I'm now still... that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branka, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that! Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. Right. Okay. You remind me of Lady Cecily. Who? She was an Orlesian lady. My mother served her until she died, and Lady Cecily let me stay instead of turning me out on the street. You are like her in some ways. You have the same poise, the same air of nobility. Oh, child. <laughs> I am hardly noble. I learned that nobility isn't just something you are born with. I have met nobles who are very petty and mean, complete degenerates. Then, they are people with a certain dignity and grace. It draws you to them, no matter who you are or who they are. I think the lowest peasant can have the most noble spirit, and it will always shine through. It is this nobility of spirit that you share with Cecily. Why, thank you, Leliana. It is very kind of you to say that. 
okay. On my way. We're gonna go inside now. I think there's like three kings you have to choose from or help side with. Three of his sons or something like that. It is the assembly who makes a king and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You will not speak that way about the man who should be king! Oh, oh dang. Dude, just murdered this guy in cold blood. And he's like, yeah. Just leave that dead ass body right <laughs> there. Where'd his body go? Hey, man. What are you doing? Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Weren't you just outside? It's like the same armor. The blade is coming, and I need Ozimar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Sounds like Balin and Harrowmont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. You mentioned paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Are you so freaking aggressive, dude? Can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. The proving? Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the oh Shaper of Memories. Right, you said that, bitch. The Shut up. Yes, you should. Can I steal from you? Uh, yeah, bitch. For a tiny people, they certainly build high ceilings. I'm here. Armors. Ancestors guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Uh, Mothers keep him safe, for you know what it is to mourn. Hey, what's up, girl? I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Nope. Who are you? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. What happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Do you want me to look for him? How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. Well, Grey Warden, that's what we do. Warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. Yeah. Nope. I'm in there. Let's see what the armor has. <laughs> I thought that was just a dead ass body. Hey, what's up, man? Gonna steal right in front of you? 
Welcome to Jan R Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail? At Jan R's, we have everything from leather to platinum. You know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, I cannot object. Uh, are you part of the Smiths cast? I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fall and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a Smith yourself. Let me see what of you course. get. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Let's see, let's see. 32. Holy shit. To gold. My god. Eighteen to one. The thing is crazy. I was useless. Swoops. Swoop de whoop. Is that drunken singing I hear? That it is. And I could go in. These stairs would let me. Oh, wonderful. A dwarven tavern. I've always wanted to try some of their ale. I hear it's quite potent. Hey, Cora, what's up? I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? I'd like to hear a bit about the city. So Tapsters. I guess you're not asking for anything official, or you'd be at the Shaperit. But I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. Oh, well, what's a Shaperit? It's the Bureau of all the Shapers in Orzammar, led by the Shaper of Memories. If you're from the surface, I guess you'd call them scholars. They keep all of our records, laws, genealogies. You got questions about Orzammar's history, and don't mind answers in words as long as your leg, that's the place to go. Where can I find the Shaper of Memories? You'd be in the Diamond Quarter. Pardon, the Nobles District. Upstairs from here, however you call it. Is there any place I should see while I'm here? The Nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. You'll find the assembly there, the palace, the shaper it, and plenty of estates. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines, so my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the castles build their nest. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the proving. It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Quarter. I like a drink. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines. We should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, a little round of your best brew for myself and the house. Someone's feeling generous. A round of Valentus Red for everyone. This, my friend, is the Paragon of Ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy. Only a silver and 20? Wow. That's, that's awesome. I'm gonna steal that shit back from you, boy. This guy, Nevin. Afternoon, stranger. You're looking for a stool to share a brew? You're looking for a fist to share a face? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I recommend the like and ale. They brew it downstairs. Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? I'm Kratos, a Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. You knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. You work for Bellin? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. 
Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. I've never been in the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Oh, shit. Who else is in the deep roads? Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there. All looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Who's sending out... I said this right. Yeah. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems Who's like Bronca? Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. In and in the results are other of a hot and weird. Told him I don't understand. They're everywhere. I can't take it. I mean, it's how the ancestors show As you like. Do they really need our... Right, let's see what this guy is bitching about. Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story... They possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. What the fuck is he saying? I shall. Uh, Lord Helmy. A gold name. Lord Denick Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? You know me, world travels fast. You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the Assembly without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town. No offense, but you kind of stand out. Your views on cast must be controversial in the assembly. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. So you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Oh, shit. Okay, how does the cast system work anyway? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. As you wish. Got. It's everyone born anyway in here. Let's head on out. Legnar? Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. 
The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Your allegiance says Balin is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons. And the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. You approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. A blight is coming. Osmar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Let's see what you got, buddy. And then look like you got shit. Bunch of crap, actually. Doodoo. For that doodoo? Yes, of course. Steal from you. Alright, brother Burkle. Maker's blessing on you, brother. I didn't think Dwarves believed in the Maker. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Do you want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. If this chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me, it's worth any trouble. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Sure. Because you can't do anything yourself. No, this is like the, the castle system, right? To Dust Town. Sure, fuck it. Let's go. Let's see what waits down here. I, ah, uh, I think I just stepped in something. Ew. Enemy ahead. Oh. Hey, guys. Yes, we'll get plenty for that kid once we ah! All right, all right. Ah! Now. Begin the onslaught. They're just standing there. That's right. Come on. There. Push this bitch over. Bop. She's just gonna keep out the crossbow. Anyway, what's up, boy? Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. I'm Kratos, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity, especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd like to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. 
The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, name's Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of his stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Hold on. Just gotta fix my mic. One second. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Smuggling is illegal. I'm turning you in. I don't think so. Boys! You might just see me do these, uh, fuckers. Yes. No illegal activity here. Just a bit. Okay. All right, uh, lady, what you got? Stealing from the poor. <laughs> Thanks. Thing over here, bigger idle dwarf. Too idle for my taste. The fuck is that? It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Here's five silvers. Buy yourself some fruit. Well, thank you truly, my lord. That's right good of you. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Ew. Where'd you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident to try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Oof. Never healed proper. Can they just get away with that? I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage. So it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Where's the body to go to get drunk around here? <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Salroka, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. What do you mean by brand? It means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. I'll just stay out of your way then. Yeah, steal back that, uh... What the fuck went... Get down from there. Banker. You. Oop. Spare yeah, a bit yeah. for the needy? Zerlinda. Please, have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. 
Neither have I. Well, yeah, fine. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a minor, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Damn. That's horrible. I cannot abandon my baby. The Shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carry the child. He cries like any other infant and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth, an accident I forced on him. Can't you just take your son to the surface? I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there, but humans don't care about lineage. I've never met a surfacer, though. I, I thought it might not be safe. I'm from the surface. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, okay. for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun. I guess that's it. Hmm. Okay. Suspicious door. The door appears to be made of solid stone. There's no in no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there's a small slot concealed in the fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Let's look through. You see nothing but blackness. Can uh can I lock pick that uh And Liliana? No? Don't want to? As you like. Alright, let's go to the other side of Ozumar. Stop for me already. Uh, general goods, figures, imports. E. I shall. Well, the commoners are here. Ozumar is a privilege. Very few outsiders ever get to see our wondrous city. What are you? You sound something, Garen? Oh, excuse me. Greetings and welcome to Garen Garenson's luxury goods shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad vein. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a... Uh, little hard for me to concentrate except when forging then I'm straight as an arrow best work I've ever seen l l look around the shop see for yourself I don't understand what happened to you well it's valerium you know raw blood of the earth it's more alive than you and me m m m most of the time that's no problem when it's all bundled up in a piece of steel it'll leave you alone but handling the ore directly so sometimes you get burned it's not just your skin it takes off. It'll burn directly into your m mind. Doors are moved to Lyrium's effects? I, of course we are. W -w Weak surfaces like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. W weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, w w w we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors' own bad luck. So working with Lyrium made you crazy? Not crazy, just a little forgetful. Don't worry, I'm fine when I work. Just look at my wares. I have the best blades here. Enchanted to hold f fire, ice, anything you want to put in it. 
Our doors. Uh, we did that. Right, best in the trade, you know. I worked the orm myself. <laughs> All right, let's see what this guy has. Eighty-seven. Jeez. They're kind of what a hundred and forty eight serious serious hundred and forty eight okay guess we're gonna have to be stealing from everyone. Six, nice. I'm a quarter. Right, what you gotta say, girl? You look like you're not from around here. Uh, you could say that. Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? The Circle of Magi? I've been trying to reach someone Magi? for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Do you want me to ask them? That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperium's Verticum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Right. Where's this going? It's over here. We're not going there just yet. I think this leads to this no doubt yeah, leads the mud. out to the deep roads, the ancient passages that once led to the other dwarven kingdoms. Thanks. And just a walking encyclopedia. What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. Why do you need patrols? Don't let the calm fool you. The darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt. Or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. What do you know about Paragon Bronco? What anyone knows. She went out there with her entire house and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a Paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Are the darkspawn the only dangers in these tunnels? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Deep stalkers? Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Are there no doors past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. Legion of the dead? It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Will you let me pass? Into the deep robes? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a Desher's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. Bye. Excuse me. Okay. 
Go to Diamond, whatever the fuck this is called. Diamond City? Diamond District? The fuck am I? Yeah, Diamond Quarter. Hey! Right away. Give me whatever you just had. Thing up here? Better not be hiding anything from me. Cause I'll know. From what I've heard of Dwarven politics, I'm almost surprised we haven't seen blood running these streets. As you like. This guy. There you go. Alright, let's talk to Adal Helm. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Okay. All right. Lord Balin suspected of personally defacing statues of the Paragons. Shocking allegations abound. Diamond Mall. Wow. It's a big uh, hammer. Paramount's estate. Okay. Lady Dace. This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. This has dragged on too long. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. Can't do anything with her just yet. Lord Balin's impending marriage to a castless proves you know, his dedication to change. You know, after all this is over, I wouldn't no mind getting a job here. Without work. I could he sing, tell well, stories, palace. help the king get items from high shelves. It's fucked up, Lillian. <laughs> Member of the assembly. Oh, noble. Oh, got a cheese fountain over here. Uh, let's go in here. Right. Thief! Who would dare take from the memories? As you like. Uh, I'm going to take from you. Warden, I'm outraged. A thief in the shape of what have we been reduced to? Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Yes, of course. Damn it. It would have a thing right in the middle. Right. Orda. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. What kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the Deep Roads. Grey Warden, I'm not afraid of the Deep Roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. Did I steal from her? Find out. Anyone else in here? Should be... Back to this old geezer. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. I would like your permission to open up a chantry here. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. And come on behalf of Brother Burkle, cleric of Redcliffe. 
I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Verkel hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? What harm would it do to let him preach? Wherever this chantry has spread among humans, it replaced all beliefs preceding it. Were we to let these preachers into Orzammar, how long before the ancestors stop hearing the voices praising them? Cunning? I don't even think I'm cunning. The chantry's charities would greatly aid Orzammar. What sort of charities do you mean? The Chanshi could provide work for the castless. I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well, but it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? Tell me some of Orzammar's history. We were a great empire once, outnumbering even humans and elves. We traded with your Tevinter Imperium, and our land stretched as far in the deep roads as theirs did above. Cal Chirac was capital then, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Now the Empire is simply ruined tunnels filled with darkspawn. How did you lose your golems? The Paragon golems. Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the darkspawn. One golem is worth a dozen dwarves in battle. But Caradon's tag is far into the deep roads. When it fell, we lost his secret to creating golems. There are books about it along these walls, if you would read more. What's a tag? They are to us what a colony is to surfacers. Where is Cal Sharak? At the other side of the old empire. During the last blight, the kings of Orzammar knew they couldn't hold everything. They sealed the deep roads abandoning everyone still trapped in far-flung settlements. It was the only way to survive. Cal Chirac is the only other city to outlast the Blight. We only rediscovered them recently, and they still haven't forgiven us. How did you lose your golems? The Paragon Caradon, a smith of unsurpassed genius, invented the golems. For years they were our weapon against the... One golem is... When it fell, we lost his secret to creating Enough golems. history. There are books about it along these. I will settle your mind if I can, Warden. What's the difference between an ancestor and a paragon? All dwarves who die return to the stone as ancestors, to guide their families forever. But only one every few generations rises to paragon. A paragon is a dwarf whose accomplishments change Orzammar so much that the assembly recognizes they've been born blessed. They are venerated as living ancestors and found a new noble house forever bearing their name. And that's what Bronca was? Bronca is a paragon, now and into death. She was born a smith, but her inventions caught the assembly's eye. Before she had seen 20 years, she created a smokeless coal. It could burn in a cave without vents and no one would choke from it. It earned her paragon status. Where is Bronca now? She went into the deep roads two years ago, seeking out secrets of the ancient smiths. She never returned. How did the caste system come to be? According to our legends, seven brothers founded our empire. The youngest, Bloadlik, was the wisest and was chosen king. His children formed the noble caste. The eldest, Gyatshet, trained his sons to defend their king. They became the warrior caste. Shatgyar founded the artisans. Orzatyar forged our first swords. It was Orzammar who dug the mines that became our city's foundations. The twins Koapar and Nacht both founded trading houses, but Nacht was wounded in battle. On his recovery, he swore to serve his brother's sons. What about the castless? The castless descend from criminals and those repudiated by their own families, or who chose to go to the surface and live by human laws. They have no ancestors to guide them and no families to claim them. They should not have been born. Their parents defied their shame and brought cursed children into the world. It's better they die young. A little harsh, man. It seems easy for you to dismiss them. Their births are not recorded in the memories. In Orzammar, they do not exist. Is there something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Please, speak your mind. 
We were a great ep We traded with your Tevinter Imperium at our lands, but we lost too many battles. We lost our golems, and we lost our territory. Okay. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. All right, guys, I think this is where we're going to leave off. I am just getting more tired each minute that passes. I feel like I'm just going to like fall asleep in the middle of recording, so uh, let's not let that happen. Let me do a hard save. So thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, later.